Welcome to The Porch. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Gwinnett Stripers and the Memphis Redbirds. Ladies and gentlemen. First pitch coming Joe at you right after the break. Redbirds. Stepping in, that the slugging good. shortstop, the King shortstop. Tejada. Like Big time power. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one. One. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, Boog. And that one is lifted in the air. Mercado has a beat on it. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. Throw is offline, and he scores. On the board first, it's one zip. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. So digging in, Mike Antico. Mike Antico. And we got no one here. All in one now. Rolled to short. Possible two ball. To second. There's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Now batting. Second baseman. Freiburg. On to the third inning. Now it's the power speed combo. King Tejada. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Tejada getting to start at shortstop. Only 18 years old, and he was a third-round pick. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. Not stopping, he's going for three. The relay to third, he's in there. The batter, the designated hitter. And that hit has some extra significance for him. His first knock in AAA. I'm sure he's excited to check that off his to-do list. Yeah, it may not mean as much as his first hit in the majors will, but it's still a nice accomplishment. And it's a side to him that he can hold his own at this level. There are a lot of big league players around him. Now it's about establishing some consistency and making that push for the show. Here's Eddie Rosario. Singled and scored his first time. And the righty deals. Line drive, and a base hit knocks in a run. Comes through with the RBI. The right Solid swing from start to end. Yeah, on time with everything. Really Franklin. good balance. Nice extension. And he met it out front for the line drive knock. And next is the now designated back. hitter, designated Irving hitter. Lopez. Irving. One for one with a single so far. Lopez. On the ground, out to short. Tejada collects. Throws across He's the out. diamond and two away now. Good sinker now low in the zone right Let there and produced exactly what he was looking for. Ball on Nick the ground, Cardo. nice ground out. One down. Now, now here so is Errol Robinson. Errol. One for two. Robinson. Bounce to the left side. Tejada handles. Sends it across oh. to first. Got the out. This is important. If he can go one, two, three now here, it will be a very right positive field. sign for him and for his team. King Tejada will hit next. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Fly ball down the line. And it gets into the corner, but it's foul. Well, that's where you want to be right there. All over that first pitch fastball. Just a little too much hook on it. Straighten that thing out. You get to jog around the bases. Next one off the plate inside. Ball one. One down, base is empty. 
That one ripped. That's back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. Now Two out. outs, nobody catcher. on. And here's the catcher, Tress Barrera. Barrera. And the pitch. Out to short. Tejada collects it. Slings to first. That ends the inning. Offense held in check there. Eighth inning coming up. The Stripers lead it 5-4. to four. Welcome back. And a new arm on the mound to start the eighth. Number 34. And he's Number been racking 34. up strikeouts at a high rate this year. Typically at least one in inning, so he'll be tough to get to. And now King Tejada. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. And a pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. That is his first home run in AAA. A nice little milestone for him on his path to the bigs. Yeah, Boog, the more power he shows at this level, the more anxious the organization's going to be to call him up to the show. He won't want to sacrifice consistency for power, but I'll tell you, nothing gets you noticed more than showing good pop at the plate. And now the right now fielder, down. Alec Burleson. Right Corner infielders right. guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Three and two now. On the ground. In time to Vaughn. And there's two away. Now batting. The third baseman, Taylor Motter. King Tejada, the next to hit. He's already homered here in this one. Well, look out here. He's going to come up ready to swing in this situation. Hit well. Right field, way back, and gone. He muscles that one out the opposite way, and they add a run. It's 8 6. That's just a great feeling as a hitter. You let the ball travel, tracked it pretty nicely. He's almost beat there, but he gets the bat head in time. And, it's now, and now the center fielder, Mike Antico. Corner infielders guarding the lines, trying to prevent extra bases. Hit slowly on the ground. Tejada handles the chance. Fires to first on the run. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. One out away from this game being over, but it, it's always nice to grab the opener of a series. You come into a new ballpark, and just sometimes things aren't as comfortable as what you've been used to. The mound doesn't look straight. The background isn't what you like, but they didn't let any of those things distract them. In fact, they looked like they were playing a home game. Excellent job to set the tone for this series. And the final here today, 9-8 for Chris Singleton and our entire